Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm president of National University of Medical Sciences in the United States, the first and only school of manual osteopathy in the States. And today I wish to speak with you about how you can work as a manual osteopath in California, the most lucrative state for manual osteopaths. Actually, I should say osteopathic manual practitioners in the United States, we use the term OMP, osteopathic manual practitioners, to refer to manual osteopaths to distinguish us from American style uh, osteopaths, osteopathic physicians who are the same as medical doctors. As you know, there are two types of osteopathy, American style osteopathy, which is medicine. Basically, they do surgery prescribed medications and then European style osteopathy, which is a hands-on manual therapy uh, without using uh, medications and surgery. Before we, uh, I started uh, National University in the States in 2016, before we came along, manual osteopaths thought that they cannot practice in the United States and only osteopathic physicians can practice. We proved that wrong. Now, I own Osteopathic Chronic Pain Clinics of Canada. We have uh, over 346 clinics in 33 countries and a number of them are in the United States and a few of them also in California. Many of my students, actually most of the manual, osteopathic manual practitioners practicing in United States are my students, uh, president of the American Association of Osteopathic Manual Practitioners, Dr. Daniel Nozum, who also teaches at our university. He, is a, uh, he was one of my students, president of the United States Council for Manual Osteopathic Education. Uh, 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 he is uh, one of my students, president of uh, American uh, Osteopathic Manual Practice Examining Board. She is uh, one of my students as well. Uh, there are now a number of associations in the United States and many manual osteopath practice practicing there. So we proved that wrong. Yes, you can practice as, a, as an osteopathic manual practitioner in the United States with certain rights uh, and privileges and restriction as well that I spoke in other, uh, other uh, videos. Uh, manual osteopathy is, very, uh, is a lucrative profession in California. Uh, we have uh, students in many states, but uh, those who practice in, the, in California, uh, financially, they are more successful than all other states. Uh, you can read some of their testimonials, testimonials in my Facebook page. For example, Tanya uh, in Los Angeles, she's charging 300 US per hour which is almost $450 Canadian. That is amazing. I'm very proud of her. She wrote a beautiful testimonial for us. Uh, Fadi in Los Angeles, first year of osteopathy program. He sent me a testimonial, he, a letter. He, uh, he permitted me to publish it. He, made, he did his tax and he saw that he made 209,000 US in the first year, which is amazing. That is over 300,000 Canadian with first year of manual osteopathy. This is just uh, wonderful. I'm grateful to God for, uh, for uh, providing the opportunity for me to give this education so my students could have a financially rewarding practice. As you know, we are different from other schools. Uh, my students receive over 250 business lectures. I teach them everything I know about business, and that is why they have average annual income of $150,000 per year, which is $60,000 more than other manual osteopaths because of these business lessons. I teach them everything I know. I strongly believe 
to expand osteopathy worldwide. I have to create it and make it financially rewarding for my students. And that is how I can expand the profession worldwide. My goal in life is to ensure every town with a population of 100,000 people has at least one manual osteopath in it because uh, manual osteopaths do, do wonders in treating chronic pain and every person everywhere in the world deserves to have access to manual osteopathic care. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I'm grateful to be here. You see me wearing these warm clothes. Uh, <laughs> I'm in Spain now, but uh, uh, I, I promise myself to never see a snow again. Uh, three years ago, I left Canada. I moved to Panama. Uh, this winter, I'm in Spain. And um, but uh, in Madrid, over 50 centimeters of half a meter of snow fell a few days ago. And it's a cold wind. North northern cold wind came here in the south of Spain. Uh, the other day was actually in the morning 2.5 degree. 2.5. Now it's about 8 degree. That's why I'm wearing this. I had to buy a puff jacket here. I never thought in Spain uh, I have to wear a jacket, but uh, it's beautiful. It's sunny, so I'm grateful to God uh, to be here. Anyway, how you can work as a manual osteopath in California? Health is a state matter in you know, in U.S. and every state has its own rules and regulation which you should follow where you practice. Some are very hard to practice like Florida and some are quite easy in California. California luckily for osteopathic manual practitioners it's a very easy place to practice. For regulated health professions such as chiropractic uh, and physiotherapy it is not to pass the license is very hard because the, the state is saturated. They don't want anybody from outside to come in and practice. So they made it very hard. But because osteopathic manual practice is not a regulated profession, it is easier to set up your clinic there in the California and uh, charge a good amount of money. Uh, over there, people are generally wealthier. Uh, and pay a lot more for your services. However, having said that, uh, real estate is extremely expensive there. You pay a lot to buy a house, anything under a million, forget about it. Uh, rent is more expensive, everything more expensive. You pay more taxes. I know people complain about all these things, but hey, it's a beautiful place, it has a Mediterranean weather like here, like Spain here. Uh, and it's beautiful and it's natural people want to go there and this is the law of business when there is demand you increase the price uh, government sees people want to come here there and practice there and business there and they raise the taxes it's uh, actually California I think maybe after Hawaii or, or we thought Hawaii is number one or two uh, most tax states in the United States but you pay for what you want but this is life so to practice in the California what government requires you is to ensure that your patients know they are not getting medical care from you okay they want to make sure patients do not think you're a doctor or you're a medical professional. So what does that mean? That means that in your consent form that patients get to sign, also when you explain to them to obtain the uh, informed consent orally, as well as a written person, you must ensure people know they are not receiving medical care. In your consent form, patient has to sign that they know you're not a MD, you're not a medical doctor, you're not an osteopathic physician, you will not provide medical care, you will not provide medical diagnosis. Okay, there's a difference between manual osteopathic diagnosis and uh, and medical diagnosis. Anything that is in Merck manual of medicine, that is 
considered medical diagnosis and you cannot provide. Even if you're a medical doctor from another country, physiotherapist, chiropractor from another country, and you know what the patient has medically, you are not permitted to tell the patient about that, to discuss it. You know the patient has disc condition or arthritis in the left knee, you're not supposed to speak about it. It's a big no-no. You only limit your discussion to osteopathic manual, osteopathic management of the problem. So you you basically have to have a solid, big, major, constant form with all this thing in big letter specified for the patient so they are not misled into thinking that they are receiving uh, medical care. That is very important. That is up to you to ensure and prove that uh, patients are not receiving medical care. Additionally, physiotherapists in the States, they are called physical therapists. They, they, have, uh, they have a power, powerful lobbying uh, organizations and they, they make sure that others cannot provide electrotherapy and physiotherapy modalities. In province of Ontario and many other provinces in Canada except Quebec, manual osteopaths can provide all physiotherapy modalities like ultrasound, IFC, uh, electrical muscle stimulation, tense machine, and uh, laser, and so on. But in California, you, you cannot, as, a, as an osteopathic manual practitioner, provide it. So, uh, it must be also in your constant form that the patient knows you're not a physical therapist and you don't uh, provide electrotherapy and physiotherapy modalities. You must mention in your constant form that you do not take x-rays, you do, do not provide diag uh, radiological diagnostic services. Basically, you have to make sure that the patient knows your job is limited to manual osteopathic care, manual hands-on therapy, that patient is not there to know what is the medical diagnosis for his condition. Uh, you can provide manual osteopathic diagnosis, but the patient should not be under the impression that they're coming there and they bypassing medical care uh, to come see you. This is what the government doesn't want, that one patient who has cancer or something comes see you and not see a medical doctor and his condition worsens. So uh, as long as you, in your constant form, uh, are clear about this, uh, then, then uh, you are fine. That's how basically you can uh, work, but of course, every, unlike Canada, every in California, every town, every city has its own regulations. You must follow it. Every place is different. Some um, with st have one state uh, requirement. Some have mun municipal uh, requirement as well. It's different everywhere. So please, uh, wherever you wish to practice, you make sure you follow the laws and regulations uh, of the area. Uh, that's it for today. I wish you a good, happy, healthy day. To, this is my first video in 2021, uh, even in the time of COVID-19. Uh, COVID uh, please make sure uh, you enjoy your life. Don't think so much about COVID. Uh, for manual osteopaths, actually, uh, they have seen a lot of increase in uh, business after COVID because people are uh, lockdown in many places and they don't do physical activity and they eat more their chronic pain has increased and uh, we have many students who know a lot busier one of my students dr ali hariri in ontario uh, a few months ago he had to hire three new manual osteopaths to be able to see all the patients who wish uh, to uh, to to see a man manual osteopath uh, osteopathy is a beautiful profession as long as there is chronic pain there is a demand for it and yes you can practice in the United States and California is the most lucrative state for manual osteopaths. Uh, 
Have a wonderful day wherever you are. I pray to God to uh, give you a happy, healthy, wealthy day. Thanks for watching this video. God bless. Namaste.